Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we are going to discuss an interesting topic that is the mechanism for aldehyde oxidation uh, to corresponding carboxylic acid by atmospheric oxygen. I guess you have observed when you open an old benzaldehyde bottle, you find some crystals on the neck of the bottle. Although benzaldehyde is liquid, but from where these white crystals came, actually those crystals belong to benzoic acid and this benzoic acid is produced by atmospheric oxidation of benzaldehyde using atmospheric oxygen. So that thing we will discuss. So during our discussion what we will learn the reactivity of the reagent, what is the final product mechanism and how to store aldehyde properly. Okay, so first we will learn about the nature of the reagent. If you look at this aldehyde, aldehyde carbon is uh, sp2 and there is sp2CH bond and this is actually the reactive bond and in this case the oxidant is atmospheric oxygen which is a diradical or better to say it is a triplet oxygen and by the way uh, there is another kind of oxygen which is a singlet oxygen or singlet oxygen where this oxygen oxygen these are not triplet this is singlet so it's, it's a bond you can say double bond so this is far more reactive and i have already discussed in a dedicated video you may visit for further further learning so this uh, oxygen can act as a radical reagent and do the oxidation process and this is one of the greenest and generally after the oxidation with at this atmospheric oxygen the stable product is oxide or water because in this case the oxidation state is minus 2 which is the stable oxidation state of oxygen okay and in this context i request you to please recall the alkene oxidation uh, to corresponding epoxide using oxygen and silver catalyst so this is a very green process because this oxidation reaction is happening using air okay so now let's discuss about the mechanism so how this reaction occurs as i told that oxygen is a di radical so reaction is a re reaction happens through a radical process means there is one radical in this way it gives it gives one this by the way remember when we move about single move a single electron that is uh, this radical mechanism we represent this way half arrow so this is called fish hook arrow this is the tradition to represent radicals okay since one radical so that's why half arrow one electron that's why half arrow so in this in this way it produces this uh, radical another radical and hydroperoxide radical see in the system when there are two radicals present so they can undergo radical combination similar way and produces what this is peroxy acid i have already discussed this peroxy acid previously so uh, you may visit now in this case what it produces it produces this carboxylate radical and another thing hydroxyl radical so this carboxyl radical can further abstract this proton in a similar fashion so in this way it can convert into corresponding carboxylic acid and this radical again produce and it reacts further similar with radical combination with this hydroxyl radical and again it produces this carboxylic acid so in conclusion if we say that one molecule of oxygen can oxidize two molecules of aldehyde to the corresponding carboxylic acid okay so now let's discuss a little bit why or how this is stabilized this radical now in the, this case you can explain based on a molecular orbital theory this is completely my personal opinion i shall be very happy if you can provide me any uh, lo uh, if you find any logic or evidence regarding this the background of this logic is that if you I, I guess you have observed this cation this is called acylium cation when it produced during Friedel-Crafts calculation this acetyl chloride or acetic anhydride when react with this aluminium 3 plus then this cation is produced and this cation is actually the electrophile for acylation reaction Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction okay so this cation stabilized uh, based on the stabilization of that cation I propose this thing so how this happens this is a carbon containing single electron or radical and this is the oxygen containing two electron so if they combine together and what they produce they produce one bonding molecular orbital or bmo and one antibonding orbital this and so there are three electrons so here two one so three electrons or so two electron goes to bonding one antibonding we know bonding means stabilization antibonding means unstabilization and in this case two stabilized one unstabilized. so in conclusion one get additional stabilization okay so in this way this is stabilized so in conclusion how to store the aldehyde we should store the aldehyde under oxygen free environment how we can do that 
in the we can purge nitrogen gas or we can keep that bottle under nitrogen flow for near about one minute in this way majority of oxygen from the air will be eliminated and the bottle will filled up with nitrogen gas and close the bottle you can keep it instead of nitrogen you can use argon also uh, it will give the same but remember argon is costlier compared to oxygen because uh, nitrogen because in atom air there is a 77 percent nitrogen whereas less than one percent argon so obviously our nitrogen is widely available and cheap so you use this thing preferentially and remember please remember that radical mediated oxidation by oxygen is best and actually it is the greenest oxygen oxidation so that's why industry prefers this thing and one <coughs> request before putting any reaction please check the bottle of your uh, aldehyde carefully is there any acid uh, there or not okay that generally if uh, these acids are solid with compared to aldehyde this thing so if you can check for example benzaldehyde benzoic acid so before putting the reaction please verify such that you don't get any error during your experiment so this is the end of the discussion i thank you everyone for uh, watching this video